I love the smell of book ink in the morning. So said Umberto Eco, who should know something about books because he has written over 50 of them, including the name of the rose. Perhaps his most famous one, it was even made into a movie, great movie starring Sean Connery. Anyway, the plot is about a murder. In a medieval monastery, a monk decides to do away with some of his confreres because he doesn't like their philosophy. They are into reading old books that he thinks should not be read. So he decides to do away with them. How? Very clever. He poisons the pages of the book with arsenic so that when the victims read the book, lick their finger and turn the page, lick their finger again, they're poisoned with arsenic. Is it possible? Not very likely, but it does make for a good story. One thing we do know about old books though, is they do have a certain scent. Different old books have different fragrances. If you've ever walked through a library or an old bookstore, boy, you will remember the fragrance. And a lot of people miss those kind of fragrances these days. In the old days, of course, paper was made from flax, it was made from cotton, and the cellulose would slowly break down and that would release certain scents, like furfural, for example. Then when uh, uh, paper was switched to pulp made from trees, the scent again changed because wood contains lignin and that results in certain fragrances as well. And these days, new books have a distinctly different kind of scent because there are various kinds of bleaching agents that are used, novel solvents that are used. But you know what? A lot of people today don't read books that are printed on paper. They read books either on their phone or on their Kindle. And of course, there are benefits to that. You can have your whole library in, in one place and save all that space for uh, uh, other things on your shelves. But people miss the scent of books. So what happens? Well, believe it or not, industry has risen to the occasion. And now you can purchase perfumes that are scented with what they call old book scent. And you can take your book. If you don't have enough of a scent, you can imprint some of it on there. And if you read everything on your iPhone or on your Kindle, you can just have the perfume bottle beside it and start reading, take a sniff. But you know what? I still like to thumb through good books.